Hello, I'm May, and today I'm going to be covering what Proposition 19 means for those of us in California. So Prop 19 is going to cover two groups, those of us who are in 50, who are 55 and older, um, those of us who are disabled, and those of us who are wildfire survivors. The other group would be um, those of us who's going to be inheriting property. So let's talk about group one. Group one, prior to um, Proposition 19 passing, um, anyone 55 and older was allowed to sell their current property and purchase a new one and take their tax bases with them as long as the property was of equal or lesser value to their sales price. Um, the other condition was it had to be within eight counties that was already pre-selected. And lastly, it was only allowed to use once in their lifetime. With the new change in Proposition 19, um, it also uh, it now includes um, people who are disabled and also people who have lost their homes in the wildfire. But for the people who are 55 and older, you can purchase a property that is um, higher in value, but you would have to pay the difference. Um, you can use it in the entire state of California, so you're not subject to the eight counties that was listed. And then you can actually apply this up to three times versus one time in your lifetime. So these are very, very helpful um, incentives for you to move around to uh, reduce your expenses. And it just kind of gives everyone a lot more options. So group number two, you are in a more difficult position. It's actually not favorable um, for you to inherit properties like it was prior to. So here's the huge change. Prior to Proposition 19, if you were inheriting a property from grandma and grandpa or mom and dad, um, you were able to take on their low tax uh, tax basis, which was obviously a good incentive to keep the property as a rental and um, for income purposes. Now, the new rule says that once you um, inherit that property, it's going to be taxed at the fair market value. Um, that's a huge, huge hit for those of us that's going to have um, a bunch of properties, rental properties that's going to be coming from mom and dad. There is a, a small um, thing that can be applied if you do plan on living in the property as a primary residence, um, you can keep that low tax basis with you or if the property is a farm. So I hope that kind of helps you understand how that's going to affect you if you fall into any of these categories. Um, and I will see you next time on a different video. Take care.